Hi, I'm Nick from Nick 282K, and this is my solar death ray. My solar death ray is actually a large Fresnel lens taken from an old rear projection TV. It has about 0.6 square meters of surface area, so it would have a theoretical maximum power output of just under 800 watts. Because the sun is so low in the sky this time of year, I expect the output to be significantly lower but it still works pretty good. You'll notice a lot of soot and black smoke from this fire. It's because so much of the wood's mass is turning directly into a vapor that it can't all be burned. There's not enough oxygen to completely combust all of the carbon that's coming out. Paradoxically, if the fire was colder, there would be more complete combustion because there would be more time for oxygen in the air to get at the wood vapor. I also tried with a little bit of success to make glass by melting sand. I did get a little ball of black glass by melting this sand, but I'll have to try this again in the spring when the sun's higher in the sky. A Fresnel lens is made of many wedge-shaped concentric rings. If you line up the wedge side of all of the rings, one next to the other, you'd find that it would actually make the profile of a much larger lens. By using these small wedge-shaped rings, they save a lot on materials. This lens was taken from a rear projection TV, so it's a little higher quality than the dollar store magnifying sheets you might be familiar with. For uh, a comparison of size, here's a human hair next to the concentric rings on part of this lens. If you have any suggestions for things you'd like to see put up against the solar death ray, leave them in the comments and I'll try and get to it on the next sunny day.